Hello, gentlemen. Welcome back to Flight Level View. Today, I got another aviation education series for you. Today, we're going to be talking about coordinates. This is aviation education, so I'm going to approach this video as if my viewers have never heard of this concept before, but I'm going to move at a pace fast enough so I can consider it a YouTube video. I'm certain everyone has heard of the words latitude and longitude before. But when you go into the specifics, I'm sure sometimes people mistake, oh, which one's which? The easiest method that I use to remember these two words are consider latitude like a ladder, like rungs on a ladder. The rungs go from left to right. Regarding the word longitude, well, we already know what latitude is, so obviously longitude is going to be the vertical lines. But just for the sake of the video, longitude is also referred to as meridian. That's a familiar word. I'm sure everyone watching this video has heard of the term prime meridian. The prime meridian is that zero line that goes straight through England. It's the zero line that we use to demarcate Western Hemisphere and Eastern Hemisphere. Now that we have a lat-long system, we can start plotting points on the surface of the planet. We use numbers to describe these coordinates, not letters. Take a guess at what the units are. If you said degrees, you were correct. Now we're really getting into the core concept of coordinates. We already have the understanding part down. Now we have to write and be able to read coordinates. I have three coordinates, one in the top left, two in the bottom left, and three in the bottom right. There is something different about these three coordinates, and I'm not talking about the numbers. If you take a look at the right end of the numbers, the formatting is different. Let's look at coordinate number two. It reads 45 north, 15 minutes, and 36 seconds. I'm not sure about this, but I wonder if the degrees, minutes, and seconds comes from the concept of sixes. Just like there's 360 degrees in a circle, there's 60 minutes in one hour, 60 seconds in one minute, that idea. Now, I can't prove that, but just um, I, I think that's where that came from. Now, on to coordinate number three. It says 15.75 degrees south. Huh, that sounds really strange. I've never actually seen a coordinate system written like that. Coordinate three was meant to be a joke. We do not use a 15.75 degrees when we use coordinate systems. But if you had a person who didn't know any better, look at this for the first time and say, hey, that's kind of clever. You're not exactly 15 degrees. You're not exactly 16 degrees. You're somewhere in between. So why not depict it as 15.75 degrees? In aviation, we use coordinate method number one. It's read 25 degrees, 30 decimal zero minutes north. I guess it's sort of a compromise in between. We don't use seconds like we do coordinate two, and we don't use decimal degrees like we do in coordinate number three. In aviation, we use decimal minutes when we write out our coordinates. Thus far, we've learned how to understand, how to read, how to partially write coordinates, but now we're gonna talk about shorthanding coordinates. Shorthanding coordinates is turning the full written out coordinates into five characters. When shorthanding, the letters that go into the code, in this case, north and east, represent that you're in the northern hemisphere. And opposite, the pink circle that I have drawn, west and south in the shorthand code represent that you're in the southern hemisphere. Let's just practice with our top left coordinate. It is read 52 degrees north, 120 degrees west. Right below that in the blue box, it has written 52N20. That is the shorthand for the coordinate we just read off. 
the N and the E represent that you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So it's 52 N. That automatically means that it's 52 degrees north. And then you have a 20 after that. The letter is in between the first two digits and the last two digits, meaning that there is a 1 in front of that 20. So it's 120 west. Now let's continue with the top right coordinate. It is read 10 degrees north and 99 degrees east. I'm not reading the zeros behind that because there's nothing there. Longitude are depicted as three characters. I know it says 99 degrees east, but it's depicted as 099. So 001 degrees east or 007 degrees west, as you can see, you, you put the zeros in front of it. The shorthand method is slightly different. It is 1099 east. The east represents that the 10 is automatically in the northern hemisphere, but the east also in the back, it represents that there is no one in front of that 99. I'm gonna give another example of shorthand. Let's just say that it was uh, 1070 east. The latitude is quite obvious. It's 10 degrees north, but it's the longitude part that might confuse someone. In the example I just gave, it was 70. Okay, so is that 70 going to be 170 or 070? If the format had the letter in the back, that would be a 070. If it had the letter in the middle, it would be 170. I'm sure you guys get it now. I don't need to repeat all this for the Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to give a list of examples in the following slide with the fully written out coordinates as well as the shorthand coordinates. You can look at that and fully understand how to read and write coordinates. Here's a list of coordinates. You can use this as practice for shorthanding. Guys, whilst you're doing that, I'm just going to use this time to talk. If my voice is distracting, just press pause. My YouTube channel Flight Level View was originally supposed to be for airmen only, but I thought that was kind of narrow, so I expanded it towards enthusiasts and, quite frankly, anybody who just wants to listen. I would really like to communicate with my viewers, and unfortunately, the YouTube comment section is just not doing it. I was thinking of creating a Discord for my Flight Level View channel. It would be an online aviation Discord where members could perhaps join in monthly and share information, network, discuss future projections of where the industry is going, and finally, perhaps mentor uh, younger pilots. Okay, that's all I got for today, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. If you really liked the video, give me a lengthy comment. And if you loved it, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.